Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin, and today is part three of China dishes and tableware, and today we're going to look at some samples of restaurant ware or restaurant china uh, that I have in the collection. So let me move over to the table and we'll take a look at what we got. We're going to start here with a set of restaurant ware that's one of my favorites. And uh, this is, um, again, I don't know what the name of this pattern is, uh, but this is made by the Shinego. There's the mark on the back. Shinego China. Uh, Mayor, were they in Newcastle? Okay, thank you. In Newcastle, PA. And um, they made all kinds of, of food service china. And I love this pattern because it's green, which is my favorite color. And here is the coffee cup. We've got the saucer, the soup bowl, and then we have a small plate. A dessert plate, a pie plate, and then the dinner plate. And a beautiful, I just, it's a simple pattern. Um, and here you can kind of see uh, the elevation of the plate. Heavy. Look how thick that is. That was meant for eye service. Now over here, this I have a lot of. This is um, restaurant ware. This is actually not China, though. This is glass. And this is made by Corning. It's hard to see the mark on the back. Corning from Corning, New York. And Corning and Pyrex are the same company. Sometimes this is marked Pyrex, um, and sometimes it's marked Corning. But you can see... It's white with a double red line. They also made this with a green line. I've seen it with a blue line, with a gold line. So they made it in different colors. To me, this is absolutely classic diner wear. There's the cup. And there's the saucer. And um, I've always just referred to it as red line. Uh, but again, that is made by Pyrex, Corning, and um, I've got an oval dish here. And, you know, a lot of diners would use an oval plate like this for a sandwich with fries or chips or something else on it. Uh, but this actually is made by Anchor Hocking. Let me see if I can get a shot of the back here. This is made by... Anchor Hocking, um, Lancaster, Ohio. Lancaster, Ohio. Thank you, sis. And if you look, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, the color is slightly different. The Anchor Hocking is a almost a dark red, a maroon, and the Pyrex Corning is a brighter red, but, you know, I think one was sort of, they are interchangeable. You see them in use in the same place. Um, they're close enough, uh, but they are slightly different colors. So here's two sets of restaurant wear that I have and use with some frequency. Now we're going to come to this table here where I have a lot of different odds and ends, but all stuff here was made for commercial high-end use. And we're going to start here with a bowl. And this, uh, in Polish, this is altar circle, uh, is what that says. And this was from a, a Catholic religious Polish society. 
this was sort of their house plates that they used in their building when they would have dinners and things. It's a nice big bowl for soup or a salad. Um, it has a green uh, trim. Again, if you look at this restaurant where compared to like the china that I've been previewing it early that we use in houseware uh, that was made for household use, look how thick this is. And believe me, this stuff is heavy. Um, here on the back, uh, it says, and I don't know how well it can read from here, but it is the uh, Baylor Walker China Company, Virtuous China, and then furnished by Rico Sons Company, Detroit, Michigan. So that was the restaurant supply house, the one in Detroit, but uh, the Baylor Walker China Company, sometimes just known as the Walker China Company, they were in Ohio somewhere, weren't they, Mayor? Bedford. Bedford, Bedford, Ohio. So much of this was made in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York, um, big China-making areas. So with that, I have partnered this wonderful Anchor Hocking uh, trade name Anchor Glass coffee mug. It's a small mug by today's comparison for sure, but you would have seen this at diners or um, coffee shops, donut shops, things like that. They also made plates with the, in the same pattern. So again, this is glass, not china. Uh, over here we have some examples of bowls. So many restaurants at one time did what they called family style um, service where they would bring platters and bowls of things to the table. So here is a classic restaurant wear bowl. This is made by Buffalo China Company. Um, Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. And here's another bowl, and this one is a little brighter. If you look at the two, this one's a little bit more white, and it's got these turquoise, certainly a big color, the late 50s and early 60s, turquoise diamonds going all the way across. This one right there, Homer Laughlin China Company, or Homer Laughlin Best China, it says, and that's Newell, West Virginia. I know that because I've been to the factory there. Real, real cool thing to see if you're ever in the area. So here's a popular style, um, the divided plate into three sections. So you had your, your meat, your starch, your veg. And if you didn't like your food to touch, this was the kind of plate that you would have. Um, and you can see it's a white plate with a green trim. And on the back, there's a note. Uh, it says 53, which might be the year of manufacture. It's hard to read, but it says McNichol, China. And I think they were in Pennsylvania, weren't they, Marianne? No. Nope. No? East Liverpool, uh, Ohio. East Liverpool, Ohio. Uh, that's right, East Liverpool. Okay. And uh, next to that, I've got a cup and saucer. Should look at that great pattern. This is Corning. This is another Corning uh, glass manufactured food service cup and saucer set. There will be plates, which I don't have. I only have the cup and saucer. Uh, plates and uh, that would have that same pattern to them. Here's a little dessert plate or pie plate. I say pie plate because I don't know, it just seems when you're at a restaurant that with this kind of dishware that dessert would be a nice slice of pie. And um, but it is a, could be a could also be a would be used as a bread plate or a side plate. 
Um, and this is called Sarah Light by Syracuse, China. And they're in, they, were, they were in Syracuse, New York. Um, here are a couple I put together because they are the same pattern, this sort of shaded red, but, but two different manufacturers. This coffee cup, totally 60s, um, by the Homer Laughlin China Company. And here is a platter in shaded red by Buffalo, China, in Buffalo, New York. But isn't that great? Love that. And I use that frequently. Over here, we've got another wonderful glass Corningware mug. Again, green and white uh, would be the color here. Uh, basically green stripe, double stripe, coffee mug. And over here, we have a gray band at the top. This is a mug made by Shenango Pottery. Again, Newcastle, West Virginia, or Newcastle, PA. Right, Mayor Shenango? Yeah, Newcastle. And then we have this plate uh, with a graded, uh, a shaded gray outline around the corner. Um, really nice pattern, and this was classic. And they made it with different colors. This is Wellsville, China Company. They were in Wellsville, Ohio. And that is a classic restaurant plate. Here we've got a small platter. Again, Shenango, China. You can see a lot of the same ones because they just, that was their specialty. And that is a little platter there with a green border. You see a lot of green. Green's a good food color on plate, green and white. Uh, over here, here's a coffee cup. Love this. Look at the little round handle. This has got sort of a bluish green stripe around it. This is made by Iroquois, China, Syracuse, New York. And then this is another set I have, a number of pieces to this. Um, I don't have the cup and saucer, though. i got to find some. I'll run across them one day. But this is Homer Laughlin, and this is their best, Homer Laughlin, Best China, which was their commercial line for food service. And if you look at the colors, gold and green, uh, you know that this is from the mid-60s to mid-70s. These pieces all had a gold trim around the edge. It's very washed off, but you can, I don't know, in the light, maybe you can pick up some of it. But there's a gold trim. But here's the dessert. This is just a little... This would be like a little side dish. Here's your bread plate, dessert plate. Here's a luncheon plate. And then there's your dinner plate. Great pattern um, and heavy, heavy service. Homer Laughlin. Here is an, is an S pattern. Again, this is from, this is labeled Pyrex. If you all, they're both labeled, let's see, I'm standing in front of the light, so I don't know if we can really see here, but Pyrex. If you ever go to the Waffle House, I haven't been to one for a while because there's not, there's hardly any in Michigan, but if you go to a Waffle House, the last time I was there, they were serving on these dishes, um, which I thought was so cool. But here it is. It's sort of a brown scalloped 
uh, or uh, the S that goes around. Here's the cup, the mug, and there's a platter. Now here, this is a really heavy, thick, look how thick that coffee cup is. This is Incaware, which was a line made by, if you look underneath, it says Shenago Pottery, or Shenago China, Newcastle, PA. So this was a line Incaware a lot of restaurants used. Um, it had, it was sort of in this, I don't know if the, let me come away from the light a little bit and see if you can, this has got this sort of cream, dark color, darker color, it's not white. It's a beautiful, I love the style and the weight of it. And this was obviously for um, something, they, someone was serving Nestle's, probably cocoa at the time. Here is a, look at this, here is a coffee mug, Sears restaurants, so many of the Sears stores, especially the bigger ones, had um, restaurants inside the stores, uh, and as many department stores did, and this was their china, here made by Syracuse China, from Syracuse, New York, and just sort of had a, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, there's sort of a raised edge around that is scalloped and it's accented with the colors there, green and tan, and then Sears restaurants. Here is a plate from Biff's. Biff's was a chain of restaurants um, there were a few in the Detroit area. I remember them growing up. Uh, they were basically a little hamburger place. They had breakfast and other things. Strictly short order. But there was their logo, Biff's. Green and black. Great design. Heavy plate. Nice and thick. Again, who made this? Shenago, China. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Meyer. Mayer, M-A-Y-E-R, Mayer, China, Beaver Falls, PA. So, Biff's. Here I've got a glass bowl, and maybe this is Anchor Hawking. Fire King, it says. Fire King 350. And this is for a restaurant, I believe a chain, LK. If anybody knows the name of that restaurant chain, what those initials stand for, please share. At least here in Michigan, I don't remember restaurants with the, with, that would have had the initials LK. Maybe it was a department store. Maybe it was a cafeteria, something LK. If anybody can help me out with identifying that, I'd appreciate it. Over here, we've got a tall coffee mug with an interesting logo on it. And this logo was either the logo of a chain of restaurants, coffee shops, or a hotel. I cannot remember. Again, here's another thing I'd love some help with. If anybody knows which logo is this. And it's got a gold base. It's a tall mug. Homer Laughlin. Best China, um, but I love the, I just love the shape of it, and I love the, the size of it. Here we've got a plate, Holden's Drive-In. I don't know where Holden's was. I don't know how many Holden's Drive-Ins there were. If any of you can help with any of that, please do so. Would love to know more about Holden's Drive-In. Uh, it's a smallish plate. I'm guessing maybe they did hamburgers. It was a drive-in. And so they would have brought maybe this plate on a tray to your car. This was made by Walker, China, Bedford, Ohio. There's the mark on the back. Holden's Drive-In. Here I've got a soup bowl, 
And if anybody recognizes that trademark, M on top of W, that is from Montgomery Wards. And where we looked at the Sears coffee mug earlier, Montgomery Wards was another one of those rest, uh, department stores that in some of their larger stores would have a restaurant and uh, or a, a lunch counter, a luncheonette. Uh, and this would have been a bowl probably for soup or chili uh, that you would get from Montgomery Wards. Or, and let's see, Syracuse, China, Syracuse, New York. And here is sort of a side plate, pretty small. That would be like for a dinner roll or bread or some small order. It's even too small for a piece of pie. It doesn't have the Montgomery Wards logo on it, so I don't know. But it is Syracuse. It's the same pattern and same colors and that great turquoise. So that is the uh, overall restaurant wear items that I have and if you have any restaurant wear items I know some of you uh, collect them share with what uh, you have in the comments would love to hear about um, your collection or your memories of eating in restaurants department stores uh, because so many places had their own China I think of um, Howard Johnson's had their own china with their name on it. Here we had a chain of big boy restaurants, Elias Brothers Big Boy. They had their, and I can't believe I don't have anything here from Elias Brothers. Um, I've got to find something. But anyways, these are all bits and pieces that I've picked up over the years. And they're just a lot of fun. And I use this stuff frequently. And yeah, you can put this stuff in the dishwasher because that's what it was made for. Rough service every day. Um, it takes a beating. It is sturdy. It's heavy, but um, it's good stuff. You can heat it. You can keep it in the oven um, to keep these plates warm. Uh, really versatile. I love the old restaurant wear. So thank you so much. I will remind you of the website, which is cavalcadeoffood.com. Uh, again, I'll also remind you of the Cavalcade Radio Hour, which airs here in uh, The Thumb on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. on WMIC. And if you want to listen to the program, you can stream it live from wherever you are. I'll put the link in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And I hope uh, you have enjoyed the uh, series I've done on China. I might do one more installment just on platters. Because for whatever reason, I seem to have a lot of platters. Uh, so that might be the, the fourth and final chunk of this series but anyways thanks again and stay well everybody and from the cavalcade of croswell signing out until next time bye everybody